the 16th Panzer Division continues to push westward. However, they've run into a small issue, the 4th MSD. Well, at least the remnants of the 4th MSD. This is not a ragtag group of rebels. These are professional trained soldiers. The chain of command may have dissolved, but they are fighting for a greater cause, and that is the preservation of their country. So, before we get started, if you like military strategy, tactics, and doctrine and seeing it applied to strategy games, I guarantee this is the channel for you, so make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Also, let me know if you want to see a high lethality mode that's in regiments. I think that would be a blast to play, and it would truly test our tactical fortitude. So, check out the Steam Curator page. I'm leaving it down in the description. Now, let's dive into this preview of Regiments, a game you guys are highly anticipating because it is a blast to play. So, let's take a look at our battlefield. So, one thing we need to make note of is we have two victory points right here, right, in this initial starting point. So we need to preserve those victory points. As you can see, we get 25 plus points for preserving them. So we need to provide one rapid assistance to our ally right here. What that means is we need to push through our deployment point, which is located down here. And we need to secure these two objectives because we want these 25 victory points because that's going to help us in the long run of our operation as we continue to drive out the fourth MSD from this area. So let's get started. Let's drop, we have 650 deployment points and 800 supplies. So the first thing we need to do is we need to deploy our recon. So let's click on our recon and we're going to push him all the way to this tree line. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to send our tanks into this town where they'll have plenty of cover for our initial deployment. Once we've determined where the enemy is on this first objective, we'll secure it and we'll continue to steadily push all the way to help our allied over there. Next, we're going to send BMPs. They're going to stop just short of the village right here. We have 275 more deployment points. And lastly, we're going to get artillery on standby. All right, we're really going to need a lot of artillery. Um, AA is going to st initially station in the village, and we are going to get our supply truck up with our artillery. We also have smoke, so once we start this battle, once we hit the space bar, we can drop smoke once we've identified any hostiles. That's going to be perfect. We really can't provide any fire support for our ally at this current moment in time. We do have heavy artillery, and we do have um, SU with four napalms standing by, so we could definitely d stop any rebels who push that objective. So as you can see, if we hit the, I believe the uh, I key, it removes all of the HUD, and we can watch our units slowly move into place. Our BMPs, BTRs, and T-72s, I believe that's what we deployed. So let's hit that I key, bring everything back up. Yeah, we have BTRs, we have T-72s, everything's getting in station. Our tanks are pushing forward first. We're going to see what our recon identifies initially. We're going to have our artillery on standby. Once we make our first contact, we will be able to start this engagement. I don't want our tanks walking head on into ATGMs, so we're going to continue to probe with our recon and continue to stand by. Remember, the space bar pauses the game, so we can always take a moment to observe one enemy movements and reevaluate our tactical decisions. All right, we're going to push our BTRs up. Ideally down this road, hopefully there's no IEDs, no mines, anything like that. We're going to stop just short of the objective. Tank's going to move as well. Everyone's moving in a very steady, steady location. We're also going to route this tank over this direction and begin working on Objective Charlie. All right, we need to hit X to get these units dismounted. All right, hopefully they dig in. Next thing we need to do is hit T, get our artillery up. And then we're also going to pop smoke. Because this unit's in an unfavorable position right now. Lots of ATGMs flying, lots of artillery flying. Smoke's coming up, gonna block that initial engagement because that is an anti-tank unit right there. Oh, that is not good for our tanks. As you can see, they're under heavy fire. We also have an unidentified unit over here on this left side, as well as BTR is currently BTR-70. All right, fantastic. We need to work on that flank and get these tanks into position to flank that unit. All right, artillery is still flying. Tank unit over here. We're going to engage this unit with our, B with our T-72s. We're going to dismount our BTRs with the X key. And we're just going to hammer that tank unit. Next thing up, we're going to readjust our artillery with the T key. We're going to start dropping mortars right there. All right, fantastic. That unit was absolutely destroyed right there. That anti-tank team has been dealt with. That means this objective is going to be ours. All right, we're going to continue. We're going to remount our BTRs. We're going to push them into the objective. These units continue to move forward. 
our tank unit continue to hammer that what looks to be T-72. So we have T-72 on T-72 contact. All right, these units are getting currently getting hit on their flank. We need to readjust. We do not want them to be destroyed this early on. Mortars continue to fall. We're going to retreat that unit. I don't want to sacrifice this early on. We're just continuing to trade blows right here. This BTR is going to dismount while they're in the objective, and this T-72 is going to continue to suppress. Recon's up. Once we have enough deployment points, we're going to bring in our hinds and suppress basically some of these units back here. We're going to continue to hammer this unit with artillery, as you can see. We also have a heavy artillery barrage. I'm going to drop it way, way, way out here. So we're going to wait four seconds, 13 seconds. We'll reevaluate that in a second. I, I'm very, I'm fairly confident we're going to get this first objective. Let's continue to drive that BTR out. We have our supplies up. We have one second till this artillery falls. Let's provide some suppression. Fantastic. Absolutely beautiful. All right. Looks like a supply unit as well as some P-72s. That artillery was pretty effective. It drove them at least out of that fighting position. Zone captured. All right, we've captured our first zone. Let's hit the. Let's continue to hit the I key. Let's see what we can deploy for. See what we can move up. We can get another set of BTRs up. I think that's fantastic. Let's move our recon unit up to this ridge line. Hopefully they don't get engaged from Objective Charlie. Let's continue to get our tanks into position. Remember, we need we have two more objectives to go before we can tr really provide any support for that unit as they continue. All right, we're gonna bring this BRDRM back. They're going to be engaged. We don't want to lose our recon unit. We're gonna hammer that unit. Everyone's just going to go ham on what looks to be the flanks of a BTR-70 rifle team. Let's see if we can locate it. All right, once our recon unit fell back, we've lost sight. So we're going to continue to move up. This BTR team is going to provide support. We're going to hit X to drop our units. We're going to call in another heavy artillery strike. We're not making enough progress for my for me to be okay because we still have one more objective to go. All right, unit's been re-identified, 60% cover. Let's just pop smoke. I don't think we're in a good engagement position, at least on this right flank. We don't know what that unit is. It could be anti-tank, and we do have T-72s that are currently exposed right there. All right, hopefully our artillery's doing some damage back there. As you can see, it's pinned and suppressed. That smoke's gonna be fantastic. Let's see if we can hit these BTRs with some fire support. Our hinds still aren't up. Once we have 170 deployment points, we'll get our hinds in contact. All right, we're going to retreat this unit back to our supply point. We're going to get hit T, get some art. Nope, we need to move our artillery up. So let's grab these three units right here. Push to this tree line. I don't like where that unit's going. What is our move? Oh. Ideally, we don't really want to um, put these units in this position, but we're going to attempt to refit, do some re refitting. I truly think these two units right here can deal with this BTR. We do have a very seasoned unit. Also, you can see our allies are doing quite well in this position, so we are going to drop artillery on our own position. That should drive some units out. These T-72s right here should be able to deal with these BTRs. They're in a well-defended position. They are on, kind of on their flanks. This BTR right here, everyone's refueling, refitting. Artillery's falling. This is a mobile artillery, and we're just going to hit people hard. Continue to just destroy anyone in our way. All right, there we go. That's going to drive that unit out. Looks like we've re-identified re this BTR on this flank. We're going to readjust this BTR-70 to engage them when they're 60% cover. We're also going to readjust our artillery in general with the T key. So just start hammering away. All right, this, we're going to continue to push forward. Everyone's refitting, refueling. How much ammo did this unit have? Main ammo, 40 slowly. Everyone's slowly going up. Is that smoke? Oh my god, the AI dropped smoke. If this unit has 35% ammo. I'm fairly confident they can, they can take on those BTRs right there. This unit's doing quite well, 100% ammo. Not currently suppressed. Our AI's handling that point quite well. Once we secure this first objective, artillery continues to fall. Enemy's been re re spotted once again. Adjusting fire. Once everyone's refit, refueled, 100%. Let's go. This unit's refueling. 
Supplies are doing well. We have artillery back up. We're going to wait for our SU-25. See if we can drop some napalm on some people. Recon units currently in our position behind us, which is truly strange. I don't really agree with that. Um, currently no deployment points. Continuing to push. Tanks are back up. Let's see what we can destroy. Looks like we're getting flanked. We're going to rotate, rotate, rotate. Hit the T key. Alright, let's grab our artillery. T. This tank, I believe, is going to deal with that BTR quite, quite easily. We're going to keep our eyes on it, though. We do have heavy artillery, so we could honestly destroy it. This unit is really dug in. I'm going to drop another round of artillery on it. This unit is currently getting suppressed. We're going to retreat to our supply line. We're going to bring this unit up to deal with them. Alright, BTR 70 is on deck. We're going to push this objective. ammo once this unit's in position. We're actually going to do a full retreat with that unit. Alright, that unit's basically dealt with. That's a fantastic, outstanding artillery strike. There it is. They're gone. Alright, let's everyone move up. Continue to move. BTR 70s continue to move. These BTRs are going to immediately be destroyed. They are basically going in that town, remember, with our seat and see what our line of sights are and this tank's just going to do absolute work. We're going to hit X, remount, get into position and immediately push towards Hill 90. Alright, remember we need to keep those two positions. That's our main goal is to keep those two positions over there north of us secured. Alright, let's click see what we have for deployment points. Nothing up and running. We have artillery on standby. We do, we're going to hit X, dismount our units and engage this unit right here. Once they're dismounted, all right, tank's going to continue to push. Everyone's going to get into position. Hit the F key to move fast. Artillery is going to get into position. F key up on this hillside. So far, no anti-air. Recon's going to continue to move up. Supply line. Remember, we need supplies. Heart, logistics supply lines, decide wars. Let's get our MI4s up and running. They're going to be fantastic. A good little strike force once these MI4s are deployed. In my 24s, I apologize. All right, the fighting seems to have calmed down. We're just continue to slow push across this objective. All right, wooded area. Ideally, I think I want to send our BTRs dismounted. As you can see, they're currently being engaged. So, Vominos. captured. Artil looks like artillery is coming up. Recon units attempting to probe our back line. They're going to be easily destroyed. BTR 70, they're currently suppressed. We'll let them be destroyed. Looks like we also have another unit flanking us. These BTRs are going to rotate that position. Look to be tanks. We're going to dismount these units. All right, yep. BTR is not dismounted. Final on the move. Easy, easy to deal with. Not very smart on this engagement. These T-72s are doing quite well. That unit's along the road. MI-24s are up. We're going to push this unit in to MI-24s are going to easily take care of that BTR. As you can see, they're panicking, they're dismounting, and they are now destroyed. Oh my god, we are losing this tank. This is our favorite tank. Boom, pop smoke, pop smoke, pop smoke. All right, MI-24s need to get in combat. BTR needs to move up. That was a very bad decision on our part. We almost lost an extremely good resource right there. We're popping smoke. Four seconds once that's up. Still holding one, two, three objectives. We'll probably be reunited with this group after this objective. Lots of artillery fallen. Smoke's up. No no eyes on enemy. We're going to continue to work around this flank. Hit the F key to move this BRDM into position. Not exactly sure where this artillery unit's going because we want him with our supply line. Uh, MI-24 is moving forward. BTR is moving up. Everyone's dismounted. What's our current ammo? 95, 65. We're going to resupply. All right, reports intercept attack. We are going to have a massive attack shortly. We're almost to our first objective. We're going to continue to push forward. That recon unit is going to come in clutch. Let's see what we can deploy. 81 units on standby. We need 100 to drop another T-72. All right, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. That's a small recon unit identified. All right, BTRs push forward. Oh, that's an AA unit. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Get out, get out, get out, get out, MI-24s, we don't want to lose you. T-72s are up. Alright, let's 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 continue our march. Alright, 
uh, heavy artillery on that position. Looks like we have a good a good little fighting position. We have anti-aircraft, we have a recon unit, and we have what looks to be another unidentified unit. Artillery is going to continue to do its work. Just continue to drop units, drop rounds. I'm not too terrified. We have two dismounted units. Lots of artillery coming in. It's going to easily, easily deal with that. Looks like a tank platoon. Next thing is up. We're going to pop smoke as we cover our assault. BTRs continue to move. If we can get them into position. Let's see what we got on standby. All right, tanks on their way. Fantastic. Continue to hammer, continue to hammer. Artillery up. Going to drive them out of position with these dismounted units. Currently don't like crossing this open area, especially with an enemy on its way. One to th possibly one to three platoons. As you can see, our dismounted infantry are moving up with our BTR-70s. All right, I'm not sure exactly how well these are going to do against those tanks, but those tanks are significantly suppressed, and we do have another artillery smoke on standby, and we're almost into this village, which is another good thing. All right. Bring our supply line back up, getting it back online. Hit the F key, get this tank into position. As you can see, that unit's been under heavy fire. We're just going to continue to hold fire. All right. There it goes. Looks like that BTR-70 is continuing to retreat. And we're, once we have this objective secure, we can push this heavy, li heavy line right there, which is a good position of cover. As you can see, it's, I, I mean, a good position of power. Tree line provides oversight along this whole open field. And we can continue to push these objectives and work our way towards our two exit points. Ideal, we can either... Looks like that tank is doing a good job at existing. Zone captured. All right, another zone captured. Fantastic. Let's grab our artillery, hit the T key, hammer that position. Currently disadvantaged. These T-72s are lost. not realistically going to deal that well with this unit. And I don't want to retreat them almost instantly, so let's see if we can suppress them. We're currently losing a position behind us. Unfortunate. We're going to send tanks in to deal with that. I don't like back caps. Don't exactly know where that unit is. We just drop artillery on that position. All right, units currently retreating. Just like that, we've basically secured supply lines all the way to this objective, and now we can continue our push northward. So once we re-secure that objective behind us, which is extremely unfortunate that we lost that, so let's grab this T-72 right here, push them forward, and let's continue to we need to assault what looks to be a hillside, which is going to be extremely challenging for us. Not exactly overly excited about that. These must be these one to two platoons, so I, realistically we need to be prepared for this defense. We have lots of units on standby. We're pro performing a pence maneuver. We have heavy artillery falling, so that unit could be... Looks like they're retreating. Yep, there they are. All right, let's pop smoke. This unit's walking into a hornet's nest. Smoke's up. All right, this T-72 is going to hit these units from the rear. The smoke's going to obscure that unit. As you can see, they're suppressed. And this unit's going to push that objective. Five minutes yep, just remaining. like that. As you can see, panic. They're going to run away. Just like we thought. Terrible decision on their part. Unit was just upgraded. As they push by them, we'll be on their flanks, and we will continue to push forward. All right. Let's hit the X key and launch our next assault. Let's move these two units forward on this objective. Let's get this recon unit into position, kind of behind the back line. Ideally, they would have been much better right here where they can see into the objective, but they can't see up this hill. We hold the C key. Um, we're going to have to assault from a, rel a relatively covered position right here. All right, this tank looks like it it's doing good. We're going to push up this hillside under attack. All right, dropping heavy artillery on this last position. See if we can provide some fire support. Oh, that's Zone a good. Captured. Looks like these units are dealing with them quite well. Now that it looks like an artillery unit over there, that's artillery is going to do good work. Let's see. We're in a split. We need to get into this position of power. Position of power. This unit, we're going to push slowly up this hillside. Remember, we don't want to overextend. Right? If we overextend, we're going to have just a terrible, terrible time. 
All right, let's just, we don't want to also change too much. Right there, R, another BTR unit. Yep, yep, we're gonna, we're gonna cancel this. Everyone retreat, we're not prepared for this assault. Everyone stand by, you get into position. Ideally, I want that unit up there. Where's this unit going? All right, we need to prepare for an assault. Did they get absolutely destroyed? That's what I thought was going to happen as we need to push up this hillside. There's a lot of, that we saw one, two, three, four units definitely in cover. I just want to make sure we hold this line right here. That's one of our victory points. If we can hold that, we're good. We only have three minutes left. So I expect some fighting to ramp up a bit. Let's pull these T-72s back. We have nothing below we can put in. Hopefully we get, let's see what we have. We have plenty of supplies left. How's our supply line looking? This BRDM unit, I'm gonna pull back here. Yep, that's exactly what I thought. That's a recon unit attempting to push forward. We could easily deal with that. Are they on the move? All right, they are on the move. All right, we're not dictating the face of this battle, so we're going to take a defensive position. It looks like everything over here has cooled off a little bit. Let's see what we can call in. Let's pop smoke. I don't want these units getting hammered over here from this left flank, especially when we don't really have a choice on how to fight that fight. Nothing on standby. We should be able to get tanks momentarily. They'll be ready in seven seconds. This B BTR is doing good. This, this battle over here has calmed down a little bit. Not super concerned. I just want those victory points. All right, right now we're re refitting. We're just calming down getting everyone into position, making sure we're all ready to fight. We could obviously push this objective. We could extend over here, but I think I want to go this way and then kind of arc and create a front line and then push this last objective. Because once we get to this exit point, that's going to be fantastic. So we're going to push hard on this left side, I think, next time. We will see. We have one minute left. Ideally, let's see what we can call in. I don't think we have enough units to realistically launch any sort of assault. All right, units getting in position. We're kind of just standing by. I'm not expecting anything to pop off on the next minute, so I'm going to call the video here, guys. Um, One yeah. minute remaining. We're just gonna hit the fast forward button. Should take 30 seconds. Um, yeah. That's the battle. We have no major fronts. We're not, there's no units going to be in, in position to realistically fight right now, especially this defended position. One thing we need to make note of is we have a lot of artillery. We're gonna need to break this little defense right here. So we need to not so much break that siege, but destroy any units that are going to be definitely right here. And we need to be prepared for any counterattacks. All right, guys, I think we did quite well during that um, little video. We got, um, we control six objectives overall. We only lost 32 compared to their 93, wounded 78 to their 268, um, only lost four. I would consider us vehicles lost seven to 45. We definitely brought the heat. Um, that little professional defense force was dealt with. Peace out, guys.